The Dynanite PIP hammer toe implant is a threaded, cannulated, nitinol solution for hammer toe deformities, offered in three sizes and a bent and straight option. The cannulation allows for precise placement of the implant when placed over a 1.1 mm guide wire. This wire also extends the nitinol prongs to engage into cortical bone to maintain compression and fixation. To begin the procedure, make a transverse incision over the PIP joint. Bend the distal end of the toe 90 degrees to access the joint. Insert a 1.1 mm K wire into the central portion of the proximal phalanx. Remove the cartilage of the proximal phalanx with the concave reamer. Use the 3.0 mm cannulated drill over the K wire to drill into the proximal phalanx down to the laser line. Advance the K wire distally through the middle and distal phalanges. Remove the cartilage in the middle phalanx with the convex reamer. Use the 2.5 mm cannulated drill over the wire to drill into the middle phalanx down to the laser line. Tap the middle phalanx if necessary. Insert the threaded portion of the implant into the middle phalanx until the inserter is flush to the bone and the flat notch on the inserter is facing upward. Retract the K-wire slightly into the middle phalanx so no portion is expanding the barbs. Leave the K-wire in the implant. Insert the barbed portion of the implant into the proximal phalanx. If implantation is difficult, use a hemostat to compress the barbs and facilitate insertion. Use the cannulated toe tamp over the K-wire to fully seat the implant and impact the joint surfaces. Advance the K-wire into the proximal phalanx to deploy the talons. The guide wire can be left in place or it can be removed completely at the surgeon's discretion. The surgeon can also cross the MTP joint with the K-wire if desired. 